Hello guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a blockchain called Neo blockchain, which is actually blockchain for developers. Now, why I'm saying this, why it is called blockchain for developers? Let's see. So what is Neo? Neo is an open source decentralized blockchain based platform that supports its own cryptocurrency and enables development of digital assets and smart contracts. So Neo is also a blockchain. It is a completely open source decentralized blockchain, just like Ethereum with the help of which you can do cryptocurrency transaction. Plus you can create your own smart contract as well as decentralized application on this Neo blockchain. So now you must be wondering like how Neo is different from any other blockchain. So now let us see why Neo is so special, how it is different from any other blockchain that are present today. So let us see the comparison between other blockchain and the Neo blockchain. If I talk about other blockchain, other blockchain supports only one language. If I talk about Neo blockchain, it supports multiple languages. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's understand this. So if I talk about Ethereum, Ethereum supports Solidity. If I talk about Solana, Solana supports Rust, right? But in case of Neo, we have multi-language support and that's the best part of Neo blockchain. Means with the help of Neo blockchain, you can code your smart contract in these programming languages that is Shehash, Python, Go, TypeScript, and Java. While if you talk about Ethereum and Rust, you have only one programming language and these languages, like if I talk about in case of Ethereum, the Solidity is a very dedicated programming language, which is only specific to Ethereum blockchain, right? Rust can be used in other platforms also, but still Solidity cannot be. And the best part about Neo blockchain is you have multiple languages and these languages are so common that every programmer most of the time knows these programming languages. Most of the programmers are familiar with Python. Most of the programmers are familiar with Java. Most of the programmers are familiar with C hash. So these are the programming languages which mostly programmers are familiar with. So you do not need to learn any new programming language in order to create your smart contract on Neo blockchain. Second difference is that other blockchain do not provide you a facility of decentralized storage. But in case of Neo blockchain, you have a facility called Neo FS. Now, what is this decentralized storage? Like, for example, if you want to store your images, if you want to store your videos over a blockchain, then that can be a very costly affair, right? Because you need to pay a lot and lot of amount of money. So in order to store your videos, in order to store your images, you need to use an external party that is called IPFS so that you can store your images, videos over there. In case of Neo blockchain, you do not need to go for any other external or third party. What you can do is you can use NeoFS. So what is NeoFS? So NeoFS is a distributed decentralized object storage network. So, so let's say this is your Neo blockchain network and this person have some file which he want to store in a decentralized way. So what he can do is he can use NeoFS with the help of which he can easily able to distribute these files over a Neo blockchain network. And the best part is all your files will be stored in an encrypted format. So nobody can read your files. Now the third difference is that in other blockchain you do not find any external data access while in case of Neo blockchain you have native oracle. Now what do I mean by external data access? So let's say you want to create a smart contract which fetches cryptocurrency prices. Now this cryptocurrency prices is something which is external to the blockchain environment right? So you need to fetch this data from an outside environment. So in case of other blockchain, this is not possible under or unless you have a third party support. While in case of Neo blockchain, you have native Oracle. Now let's see what is this native Oracle. So Oracle is actually a bridge between the blockchain and the real world. Let's say you have your smart contract and you want to fetch cryptocurrency prices from external world. So what you can do is you can use Oracle. This Oracle will act as a bridge with the help of which you can exchange data. So with the help of this Oracle, you can bring data from external world or real world. And with the help of this Oracle, you can transfer data from a smart contract to the real world. And this is provided by Neo blockchain through native Oracle. Now the four difference is that other blockchains are not that ecosystem friendly. You need to do a lot of hard work if you want to you know, connect two different blockchains if you want to have a communication between two different blockchains. While in case of Neo, this is very easy. In case of Neo, we have this Poly network. This Poly network actually helps Neo to communicate with any other blockchains. 
Fifth difference is that in case of other blockchain, we have multi-block finality. While in case of Neo blockchain, we have one block finality. And that's a very good thing about Neo blockchain. Let's see what is this. So if we talk about any other blockchain, let's say if I'm talking about Bitcoin blockchain. So for your transaction to be confirmed, you need to wait for six blocks confirmation means you have to wait approx one hour for your transaction to be confirmed. While in case of NEO, this is not the case. Once your transaction is confirmed, it is confirmed. So you do not need to wait for some other blockchains, you know, like in the, in the case of Bitcoin, we have to wait for six block confirmation. So you do not need to do same for NEO. You, you, once your transaction is confirmed, it is completely confirmed. And this is the best part because it saves you a lot of time. Now you must be thinking how NEO is able to do this, right? So NEO uses DBFT, that is Delegated Byzantine Fault Tolerance consensus in order to have this type of behavior. Now the sixth difference is that in other blockchain, you will not find name service facility. While in case of NEO blockchain, you will find NNS that is NEO name service. Now what is this name service? Let us understand this. Now if I ask you to memorize this public key, will you able to remember this? And the answer to this question is no, right? Because nobody can remember this so much long value, right? It is completely alphanumeric. If I talk about your bank account number, you might be able to remember it. But in case of blockchain, you cannot remember all these public key or all your transaction ID because they are pretty long and they have alphanumeric characters, right? So memorizing each and every transaction, memorizing each and every public key can be a hefty process, right? So what you can do is you can use Neo name service. So what is this Neo name service? So what Neo does is this Neo name service maps your public key or your transaction ID with a familiar name. Like for example, you can map your public key with this name code.eater or by your name, whatever name suits you or whatever thing suits you that you think that I will be able to remember, you can map your public key, your transaction ID with a human readable kind of thing so that you can remember it for a long time. So how does this help you in a longer run? So you do not need to memorize anything. Second is a speedy transaction. So now you can easily remember your public key. You can provide your public key easily. You do not need to go copy, paste, and then give your public key. You can simply go and just have this name as your public key and you are good to go. Now let's see some other important things about NEO. First is NEO ID. This is a set of self sovereign decentralized identity solution standards. Now, what does this statement means? I know it is a little bit confusing. Simply, it means that NEO provides you a facility with the help of which you have control over your data. Means if you are a person, let's say you want to share your data with someone. So now you are in control with whom you want to share the data, how much data you want to share, what amount of data you do not want to share. So each and everything related to your own data is in your hand. And this new ID or a self-sovereign decentralized ID also protects you from civil attack. Now, what is this civil attack? So let's say you are participating in a DAO, that is a decentralized autonomous organization. So in a DAO, each and everything is governed by votes. So let's say we have this DAO, where four, they are, there are four members to this DAO, and each of them has a voting power. Since everything is governed by voting power, what will happen if three of these nodes or three of these systems are actually being controlled by a single person? So if three of these nodes or three of these systems are controlled by a single person, now this person has the complete control over the voting decision because he's controlling three of these nodes, right? And this new ID protects us from this civil attack. Another good thing about NEO is it has a very developer friendly platform. So NEO provides you with NEO blockchain toolkit with the help of which you can easily do network deployment with the help of which you can easily test your smart contract or your program with the help of which you can easily debug your smart contract or your program. So all these things are provided by NEO so that you have a developer friendly environment. So you can see that why NEO is so special. It has a multi-language support. It provides new FS, it provides native Oracle, ecosystem friendly, multi-block finality, provides NNS, plus it has new best in tooling. On the top of it, it has new ID with the help of which you can control your data. So that's why Neo is so special. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel Core Eater. And if you have any doubts, you can comment below or you can directly ask me on my Instagram ID that is Core Eater 21. So meet you soon. Bye bye.